Howdy everyone, uh, Hunter Fahey here. I'm a uh, Naval Test Pilot School grad and a graduate of the University of Colorado in Mechanical Engineering, Go Buffs. And uh, here's a video for you. All right, today we're gonna be installing this Weingard Wingman UHF booster on my Weingard UHF or VHF, somewhat UHF uh, Batwing antenna. You see here, one thing you wanna do if you're gonna install this, Make sure you have clearance because if the antenna was on the other side of the poles then uh, we would have an issue with our air conditioner and i'm installing this on a uh, lakota living quarters trailer all right so here you go this is what the antenna looks like and first thing you're going to do is say uh there's no connections how in the heck does this work well it's called a yagi Yuta antenna and uh, essentially what it does is uh reflect the UHF waves as well as I think polarize them, but don't quote me on that. Uh, so uh, believe it or not, these things should work in theory without any connections. All right, here we are, antennas removed. We're gonna pop out these three little rubber bumpers. Here's the bumper. Just be careful. I recommend using a flathead screwdriver and they easily crack. So I'm gonna go on the internet and either get some glue or see if they have any new ones, but carefully pry them out. All right, so I put it up there and I figured out which holes I'm gonna be popping in with the uh, included hardware. And I figured it's gonna be this hole and this one and this one. So next to them and down here, I'm gonna be putting in the rubber grommets face down so that when it rests on the roof, it's sitting on the rubber bumpers. All right, there you go, rubber bumper's installed. Now we're gonna pop it up into place. All right, there she is installed. They do, the hardware looks like they are screw in pop-outs, but you can just simply push them in and they'll work. And uh, so there it is. The Yagi Yuta antenna should work in helping UHF HD signals. Here she is, stowed away, laying flat on the roof. Notice I reused the bumpers down there to, uh, Make sure it's not flapping and banging against the roof. There's the antenna. You'll notice the blades and the way the Yayuda are aiming don't correlate to how the arrows are pointing installed. They're 90 degrees off. So what I did is I took a Sharpie and I pointed in which way the antenna needs to be aimed at this tower. Uh, I tried removing it and rotating it 90 degrees with the arrows but uh, the crank has only 180 degree manipulation. So that means the arrow would only be pointed uh, opposite side. I tried turning it 90 and then the uh, crank mechanism wouldn't attach uh, that to the handle. So uh, we just have to live with the way uh, the Sharpie's in there or if you can remember, and that's how you want this antenna to be broadside or the Yagi Yuta slash the Weingard UHF booster you just put on pointing at the tower. It can also be 180 degrees off. Uh, so anyways, that's how these antennas work. Don't go off the pointing arrow inside of your trailer. That's only for stowage.